Welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. So let's exit out. Yeah. And when you come in here, you see this one that should just be zero because I just want numbers in there. So get rid of that. Now let's do one thing. I'm gonna go back to the tools. What I need in here is the print dialog. And I also need a print preview dialog. There we go. Those are the two objects in there. But I'm going to select the print preview. Let's come in here now. Go to the properties in there and let's select document. I'm going to change the document to print document one. There. So while we're on the print, Let's double click on uh, the print button and the first thing I'm going to do in there is I'm going to enter try cash and right underneath here let's enter cash there. Let's say exception and I'll just call that exception EX as well and come in here enter your curly braces. You can always enter a message there the choices mine so I can just copy maybe all of these uh, just copy this just to change it around instead of using a default I'm going to enter a message in there and the very first argument of mine that is going to be the x dot message okay that's the title and the other one is going i'm just going to change this one to okay why i change this to information just to inform my end user what's going on there now right in here the command to print that is going to be print dialog one dot show show dialog enter parenthesis there we go and that's it taken care of however we need to come in here now and let's double click on the print document so with the print document I'm going to define the where the where it's going to be printing from and the font size and so on so I'm going to copy all of this place that there just get rid of this and the next thing is I'm going to call my system system dot drawing dot fonts and that is for my fonts let's give this object a name I'm just going to call it font string that's the name of my object so new System dot fonts. Now I want to allocate my font to it, and that is going to be area. There, area, comma. Let's make the size about eighteen. I might end up changing the size though. And the font style, font style. Let's look for style. There we go. That would be dot regular. It might be changed, but let's use regular for now. There. Okay, now let's get the graphic to do the printing for us. E dot graphic and dot draw. It's going to have to draw string. Yeah. String and come right down here. And where is, is it printing from? That is my receipt dot text there, and we enter a comma there. And let's call the object that was created. That is the object right here, and right beside that is going to be the brush I intend to use. The brush that is going to be let's say black. comma 120 that is the coordinate for my okay where my 
cream tie scan of these. So that's fine. So that's it. That's taken care of. So how do we look at that? So printing is done. If I run my program, printing will work, but nothing will show. There, click on print. There we go. You only see white. So that's fine. It's working. Now. Let's take care of each individual here before we take care of two total line of seat. I'm going to come in here and let's double click on this number red. Okay, right in here, the first time we're going to do inside this number up is number up and down or numerical up and down. I'm going to first of all let's create a local variable right in there and this local variable I'm just gonna call it I okay. and this I what I want I to do is to convert let's say convert whatever we have inside uh, the number numeric up and down so I want you to convert it to double so come in here and enter numeric this one is numeric bread okay there's that in there and just say that value right and semicolon here there we go now I'm now going to enter this I into the into my LDL bread dot text equals Let's convert that to string dot format so that it will give us a pound sign. Okay, let's say, and that is going to be zero column C two. That's two decimal place. Okay, and that this should actually be in a curly braces. Enter curly braces here, and I know the curly braces in here as well. There, get rid of this one. Okay, now that is done. I'm now going to enter a comma there, and that is going to be I multiply that by Y. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that. There. So this was supposed to be dot format. Okay. So that would be for the bread. But what what about the cost of the bread? I'm going to declare a variable. Let's declare a global variable right up there. So that I can call that. So the whole idea is to show this guy how to declare global variable and local variable. So inside this uh, global variable, I'm going to say double equals bread, and we enter the price of the bread is going to be one pound nine uh, seventy nine. So let's create another variable, double, and I'm just going to call that rice equals maybe two, yeah, two something like that. Now. Another double, and that is going to be called beans. And we're going to make the price of the beans one pound seventy three. Then let's try another double, double, and this is going to be wine. Yeah, and that's been let's go for about seven. 89 for the wine and finally double and this is going to be for milk equals let's go for about one 120 for the milk yeah that is it all done now let me create another variable here but this one is going to be an array and this array I'm going to call it items equals new 
double and the number of this item is going to be number of my array let's make that about seven there we go so I have the array and I have my global variable all right so let's come right down let's come down back to my back to this bread double click on that and right in here I'm going to now multiply that by bread that I've declared in there so the price of the bread multiplied by whatever amount of bread the user selected okay let's run it and see how that's going to work okay so let's click on this number and there we go look at that so we can reset there so let's repeat exactly the same thing for the other one so that we can get the, the total cost so might as well just copy all of these and go to the next one there double click on that that's rice paste that in there and just change this to rice that is rice this is rice as well and here that's rice I think this is lowercase there so that's done now let's take care of the the others come right here double click on beans paste that in there change this to beans and this is beans here we have beans here as well beans right here the B I think the B is in lowercase there we go there that's done let's take care of the other two there paste that's for wine copy we have wine here wine here and wine here and here we have lower lowercase that I think that is just wine this one yeah so that is fine okay finally we have the milk double click on that select milk paste that in there and this will be milk paste this here there and the milk will be lowercase and there all right that's all done just the same lines of code with different names so I'm gonna run it now guys and let's see how that looks like run there we go so if I select this you see the price see the wine okay now there that's fine so what I now need to do is I want to be able to click on this total button and show the how many we have in here and the cost of everything and that will be all once we finish doing that and uh, the receipt as well so close that let's double click on total so right inside total I'm going to create a local array in there I'm just going to call that Q and Q equals new double and let's enter how many we want in there I'm going to make that seven there we go so let's say Q zero that's the very first one. Oh, this should be Q what do I have in there this should be array and we have Q here there we go and this will be Q Q zero equals I'm gonna to have to convert that convert dot to double and what am I converting that is going to be number bread dot value and semicolon there okay, that's my very first one and the second one let's copy all of this paste two three 
4 and 5. So this is going to be rice. That's rice. And the next one is beans. And followed by wine. finally we have milk okay let's change the array value that will be one two three and four okay so let's add up everything now so we say q come right down here q5 that's going to be q5 equals we add up everything here. Q0. Let's just add up the rest. 1, 2, 3. There. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. There. I've just added, added up everything in here now into Q5. Now, I'm going to come back down here and say number of item dot text equals we have to now convert what we have inside q5 dot convert to string the string as it right there and what am i converting that is going to be q5 semicolon here yeah that is a taking care of so that will be able to add up everything if I run it now this is what you guys should see so run so whatever we have in there and click on total that add up everything we have in here that's 10 11 12 13 14 15 that's correct so we also need to be able to add up the price in here so i'm going to exit out let's see clear still works exit yeah now come right down here now the array that is called item that i declare right up there i'm now going to use my array item this little one i'm going to make use of that now come right down here let's go back to total double click on total I write in here item or the items zero that is equals to q zero multiplied by bread zero multiply that by variable bread there so we then need to repeat the same thing for the others copy and just enter and this one is multiply this by rice as that and this one is going to be beans and this is wine finally we have milk here and all of this we have to change that is one two three and four and the same thing applies to this one two three and four that is the array array value or array number okay that is it all done so let's grab maybe one of these so i'm gonna create array number five here that we add up everything array number five equals that so add up everything here two three four five there and this will be five here zero one two three four there that's everything added up but and now and now i want it inside total 
total.text and copy all of this and just paste that in there and change this to item number five there we go and that's all the reach to that that's taken care of I've just added up everything so take a good look at my calculation there from here down here okay let's run that click on run though I have, seems to have excess here I can always change that to six because I only needed that's I only needed how many six so I'll leave it at seven that's fine doesn't affect anything so run okay so we enter how many items we want in there now mine and this click on total there we go but guess what the pound sign is missing here so let's add a pound sign there exit out and the pound sign I can just grab this let's grab all of this Have this one come back to total and paste this right here there we go and that should take care of that so we have this we have that okay there I think that's all there is to that so I'm gonna run it again so enter whatever Total. There we go. We now have the pound sign. So let's take care of reset. Exit out uh, the, the reset. I mean, let's take care of the reset. Come in here. Double click on the reset. So for the reset, I just want you to clear it first. Reset dot clear. There. Now. We now need to append some values into that receipt so let's come in here copy and right here there we go dot append text append text and what am i appending in there so that's going to be let's see the names of all of this what is this one called let's come in here i need to grab the name that's label two, label four, and six. Label two, four, and six. So the first thing that I'm appending will be label two dot x. Okay, plus let's add a space in there. No. Yeah, a space that's a tab. I mean, plus level four. Just gonna grab all of this, change that to level four. That's four, and that will be six. So, this is four, level number four, and level number six. There, and right here, I want to get rid of this. I just ask you to no let's change this one just this one and let's add another one this is a uh, carriage return anyway go to next line enter semicolon there so that is the very first one so let's run that and see I'm gonna save that run there so when I click on my receipts that's what I want Okay, those title displayed, but that's too small. Let's come go back in here and change the size of that receipt. So I'm gonna make it about 14. Where's the fonts? Here, click make it 14. That's 14 regular. Save that. Run. Try out the receipt again. Okay, we need to, we're gonna need some spacing in there. Alright, so close that. 
I may have to add more tabs. So let's double click on this. Now in here, I think I'm going to have to add one more. Let's click on this. Copy. Paste. And let's paste one here. There. Okay, that is it all done. I just had to speed that up there. Okay, but let, let's try it out first before we decide. Just want to see what's going on. I'm going to enter some values in there. And here as well, let's click on total. Oh, yeah, we need to get this one indented indented that is rice wine and milk rice wine and milk let's go to rice that's rice my yeah that's rice so add add one rice wine and milk let's milk that's one and here as well there. okay let's see maybe there's any other one that we need to get indented so I'm going to enter values again click reset all right we need to indent every single one of these so let's move them to the right okay that's fine looking good come in here so all of these need just one single indentation yeah and here indent indent as well indent and indent this as well right save run Okay. Total there. Okay. Let's de indent this. Look at this. This is cross the line. So bring it back. Where is it? That is it right here. This very one. Get rid of one of the indentation for that. So that it doesn't cross the line anymore run it and see enter some value, some item okay we're now going to enter it for all click there we go that's fine so guys now you see that let me just show you the lines of code again before I call it the end of this tutorial and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel guys there's a lot of benefit if you are a member of the channel and guess what it also help in the production of more videos so here is total those are the lines of code for total take it from here that is it down here now receipts the lines of code for receipts and print that is for print and we also need the print document as well the print document you're gonna need that as well that's this is the print document here double click on that you need that as well both of them and next we need resets there's the lines of code for resets and if you want you can also add try cash let's copy that and bang bang it on it here and come right down grab all of these copy and just paste it there there that's reset okay with a try cash all right try cash is, is an error handler okay finally exit that's the lines of code for exit let me bring this one down so that you can see it all 
the lines of code for exit take just take it from the top here don't need that there so we we'll run the program and we can call it the end of the program that is it guys and i'm going to enter some item number in there there click on total there print there we go guys that's not too bad so let's try to print and that's it guys i'm gonna close that and with that i'm gonna call it the end of the tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and my buddy out there i believe i've been able to answer most of your queries and please do subscribe to the channel you can also join to be a member of the channel you can even join as little as one pound 99 it helps with the production of the videos thanks a lot for watching and please do have a look at my second channel as well i will have the link on this tutorial have a nice day guys and bye for now